Now, in terms of euphoria, when you signed on mm-hmm. for it, were you prepared for it, what it's become this cultural phenomenon? Yes and no. Um, I was hoping that this show would catch fire and find an audience. I didn't know how vast that audience would be. Also, I am not as active on social media as most of the other actors are. So when you say cultural phenomenon, I pause for a second because I'm not so sure I'm aware of, of, of this show in the same way that other people are. Does that make sense? I mean, if you go on Twitter and you just type in the word euphoria, there are th- hundreds right. of just euphoria, Twitter handles, the okay, guy so- of this, uh, Coleman, Ali, that, I mean, yeah, I Jacob, don't do I, I, I know, but the, the thing is, is that the show has evolved into something that's like yeah, larger no, no, than no, life. No doubt. No doubt. And, and if I were engaged in the social media world, I think I, it would be more in my face. But, you know, I know that we have about 17 million viewers weekly, which is massive in today's climate, current sort of television situation with there being 10,000 television shows to choose from. Um, so I do know of the success that the show is experiencing. I just, a cultural phenomenon, I don't, I, I, I'm not privy to, to that part of it, but I do, I, do, I do know that it's tweeted about and Instagrammed about and TikTok and all that stuff. Has there been any like impact to you personally? Like, do you get stopped more on the street? Are people h- hitting you up on social media? I know you don't check it as much, but I have to imagine that's increased. Yeah, for me, I mean, I think kind of what I came in with is kind of what I've what I've got now. You know, um, I got a whole new generation of of a whole new generation of fans, I guess, or or, or a younger audience now, um, because this show is so teen, young adult centric. Um, it's not so much. Uh, getting stopped on the street for uh, Grey's Anatomy as much as it is euphoria you now. Who are the more intense fans, the Grey's Anatomy fans or the euphoria fans? The Grey's Anatomy fans are pretty intense. Do they, ride come, or die. do they come up to you and ask questions that are so specific that you couldn't possibly come up with the answer? No, nobody's ever asked me to medical. But <laughs> I, I will say everybody, you know, everybody's fairly polite you know i i the the ones that annoy me are the ones who just kind of stick a camera in your face and like assume that that this is part of the deal oh okay uh now you have 17 million people watching euphoria about out of that 17 million i would imagine 16 million 999 thousand of them probably loathe your character in some way shape or form I, for one, am conflicted because I, I talked to you and you were such a nice guy, but I watched the show and I am, I, I, I absolutely loathe your character on the show because he's so, just such horrible things. Do you think your character feels that he's a bad guy or is he just trying to survive? I think it's, I, I, I don't, I think he, I think he thinks his morals are intact. I think he doesn't see himself as a bad guy. I think he's had some bad moments. He has been the antagonist in moments, but I'm not so sure he thinks he's a bad guy. I personally don't judge the character. I don't want that to color any of the choices I make as the actor playing this guy, but you know, somebody's got to play this character. Not everybody can be loved, and Cal's, you know, not there to make friends. What's the hardest part of preparing for these scenes that you have to go through? Because there, it seems like every moment that your character is on screen for whatever reason, it's never a throwaway scene. It's always some intense 
moment or some build to another intense moment because just his family's life is in turmoil. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know that there are too many throwaways. I know what you mean by that. Um, you know, I think just by virtue of the amount of screen time Cal has, I think his dynamic or his the the contribution he makes has to be specific and impactful um, because I am only related to the rest of the cast through my son. Um, that family dynamic has its own life, its own heartbeat, but that's not the only heartbeat that happens on euphoria. So, um, yeah. It's a really great answer. I, I could hear you, I could listen to you talk about that stuff all the time. Oh, now, sure. now, as an actor, um, does it make it easier to have such great source material as you do on Euphoria? Or is it just the collaborative process of working with the ensemble that you have as a cast, as castmates? A little of everything. I mean, the source material is incredible. Sam won't say it, but he's an incredible writer. Um, he, he, and, and he can write for days, man. He just, he can just, it's just, it's so easy for him. Um, so the source material is strong. Now, the, it is a collaborative effort. Um, both with Sam and myself and with the other actors. And they're all very precocious young adults who are all wildly talented. Um, I, I work a lot with Jacob. Jacob is constantly working on his craft and he makes very interesting, very strong choices. And he's super supportive. And, uh, you know, I really couldn't ask for better people to work with obviously cast led by the incomparable Zendaya, who's just mega talented too. Um, but it's the waters we swim in. Um, I'm fortunate. I feel like I'm punching above my weight at times, to be honest with you. I disagree because... Oh, I, thank you for saying that. I, but I, 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 It's just the way I feel it. At, well, at okay. okay. All right. Let me explain why I disagree. And I know that we agree on fantasy football, but I'm going to tell you why we disagree here. Because I think your storyline may be the most complex storyline out of all of them. And there's some really effed up storylines on Euphoria because you have this macho figure who's closeted for a majority of the time and he's dealing with these feelings and he's trying to raise a son and, and dealing with what's going on there. And you have to walk a fine line because if you go too far one way, it could come off as fake or inauthentic. Or if you go too far another way, it could not be enough. So it's almost like you're threading this little needle that has to be pitch perfect. Every time you step into a scene, or people ain't going to buy it. And those people are going to stop believing Cal is Cal, uh, a guy who will go at any lengths to go um, capture the disc, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, and that's you, okay? I mean, that, I mean, it's a different version of you. It's not the Grey's Anatomy you by any stretch of the imagination, but it just shows your versatility as a performer. So I have to imagine when you get this type of, this type of backstory, this type of direction, where, where the story's headed, et cetera, you have to literally be licking your chops at like, wow, this is what I've wanted to do. This is, this is what acting is. Correct. Is, so as a performer, do you, is it just fulfilling to be part of something like this, I imagine? First of all, thank you for saying that, Dewey. I really appreciate hearing that. And, um, yeah, uh, chomping at the bit to get to the set, to get to play around with these people. It is a creatively fulfilling, um, engaging, dynamic, enthralling environment with a bunch of artists who are as enthusiastic about it as I am, maybe if not more. Um, and it's nice when everybody's on the same page, you know? Um, and as a result, we got a show that's, 
you know, one of the bigger shows on television right now, and one of the more well-executed shows on television, in my opinion. I, I may be a little biased, but I think Sam has created some groundbreaking television. I hate that word, but um, I think he's really captured something special with this show. People overuse the word groundbreaking, but when you create know, a man. show, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. But it, they overuse the word groundbreaking, but when a show becomes the term, then you're not overusing it at all. Let me explain. How many shows have we heard in recent months and years, if you will? Um, oh, the next euphoria. This is the next euphoria. This is euphoria, euphoria like. Okay, they tr you try to imitate Euphoria, but there is only Euphoria. Everybody wants to be the show, but you guys are part of the show. So I think when you use the word groundbreaking, you're not off at all because you, right. you've created a new piece of the pie for other shows to try and kind of fit in what you guys have created. And it's, it's a testament to what the ensemble has created, that universe that Sam has written. Um, but my question is this, what's the toughest scene that you've ever had to film uh, in your uh, time as Cal? You know, I think the scene, the scene with Hunter in the pilot was tough to shoot because the act was so violent and aggressive in moments. And um, that stuff is never, you know, we're still two human beings that are um, working together. And it's, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know, acting is, acting is tough sometimes, I guess. Um, the reason that I would find scenes difficult would be an absolute joke to you. Like the, the monologue in the foyer, the monologue in the foyer to me didn't come off as a, uh, something that seemed like it was like a huge task but i'll tell you what was a huge task getting that 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 penis to pee correctly <laughs> i did not expect you to go there um uh, <laughs> well continue. that's like, like like i said i framed it up and i said what i would find difficult might not be anything that you would recognize as oh that looks difficult but you know that's at the top of the scene and I want to go into the scene with everything functioning. I want to go into the scene smoothly. I want it to be a nice transition. I don't want to have to fumble with anything while I'm trying to do this eight page monologue, however many pages it was. Now, I, I read something and I'm not sure it's accurate, but I'm going to kind of, since we've kind of went down this road, I'm going to take it down there a little more. Do you get interesting fan mail uh, playing Cal? Uh, interesting um, uh, notes sent to you because there, I read something about people sending some interesting photos to you. Well, <clears throat> I, I've looked in, I, in my DMs a couple times and I, um, I'm more careful with that these days and reluctant to go down that dark alley. But I have received my fair share of dick pics. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm neither here nor there with it. I don't look at them. Uh, but uh, I'm sure they're all very robust and um, taken with the best possible camera available. Hmm might be the greatest interview i've ever had i mean uh, that was tiptoeing in between the raindrops i guess huh no let's not tiptoe let's let's go there now, little did i know that the well the one of the most difficult parts of uh, your experience on euphoria was uh, the, the urination sequence and i just had confirmed something i had heard that your dms were quite interesting so the life of uh, eric uh is quite colorful we'll say sometimes yeah very colorful sometimes a little more interesting than say trying to figure out who you're going to pick in the third round in a fantasy football draft i'm taking a wide receiver or a starting quarterback 
I think you're a smart guy for that. Now, in terms of future seasons of Euphoria, have they talked to you yet about that? Or is there any discussions about where things are headed? Yeah, we got picked up for season three before we started shooting season two. I know that um, part. I'm talking about a start okay. date. Oh God, I've heard I've heard grumblings of January. I've heard, but who knows? I mean, they, we've got a lot of schedules to work out and deal with. Um, namely Zendaya's and Sam's and those two have to line up before I think they they try to figure out everybody else um, as far as what's going to happen I haven't been told anything um, and I typically I don't I don't ask um, because it's all so interesting to me I don't really I kind of like to see it when it when it happens I don't really have any dog in the fight for trying to figure find out you know ahead of time um i don't need to discuss my role with sam i don't need to ask him why my storyline is going a certain direction or where it's going and uh you know it's just it's 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 fun to kind of on let the season unfold when it unfolds for everybody else i don't you know and things change so frequently you know, Sam could call me tonight and say, hey, this is what we're doing in season three. And by the time the first drafts come out, it could be something entirely different. Things change. Writers change all the time. I'm sure you know that. I would want to know. I, I, I don't know how you would not want to know. I, 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 I'm being yeah, honest. I don't give a shit about your answer. I want to know. I, I would want to know. But then again, I'm like a huge fan of Sam's work. I'm a huge fan of your work and Zendaya and Coleman. I mean, Coleman Domingo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Col yeah. He's so good, man. He's he's one of those super talented guys that you just be pissed off at. Like I feel like his your character would would like pistol whip me if I was in a scene in Euphoria, but like I feel like Ali would just literally beat my ass until I was unconscious. And you know I think what? Ali I, would beat everybody's ass. But like I'd be okay with both of those things happening, just because then I could wake up and be like, "Ah, oh, shit! I was in a, I was, I was in Euphoria, man. That just gives me some, 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 some credibility culturally or something." Street like. cred, yeah, you get some street cred from that, like just like me taking a beating with a shotgun from Ashtray. Was that tough? Filming that sequence. No, I mean, you know, again, the the parts about that scene that were that looked difficult weren't difficult and the part the parts about that scene that that didn't look difficult were difficult um you know javon's like a professional athlete man and he knows how to pull a punch he's got amazing body control he's a boxer so when you're using a prop shotgun that's foamy on one end um and the guy knows how to pull a punch and make it look like a strike then you know it's not a bad day uh, it's not as bad. It's not a terrible day. It's not as bad as it could be. Um, uh, but uh, getting that uh, the blood, blood, that blood gets all over the place, man. It's it's uh, it's just awful that stuff. 